Hello ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of October for mobile optimized ebooks please install GK Today Academy app for Hindi current affairs please subscribe to our GK Today Hindi channel and for infographics related to current affairs series please follow the twitter account the link is given in the description now let's start Sadko Ogata the first female UN refugee chief passed away she was from which country right answer is japan so sadko ogata the japanese diplomat who served as first female head of unhcr has passed away recently unhcr stands for united nations high commissioner for refugees she was from japan if we talk about japan recently president of india mr ramnath kovin attended enthronement ceremony of japan's emperor naruhito japan was also in news as recently global forum on steel excess capacity held in japan mr dharmendra pradhan represented india in this forum if we talk about steel recently sajjan jindal was appointed as the vice chairman of wsa that is world steel association next question is who has been appointed as new indian ambassador to iraq Right answer is Birender Singh Yadav. So Mr. Birender Singh Yadav has been appointed as new Indian ambassador to Iraq. On the other hand, Mr. Muktesh Kumar Pardesi has been appointed as India's high commissioner to Samoa. So if we talk about Iraq, capital of Iraq is Baghdad and Mr. Barham Soli is the president of Iraq. The currency of Iraq is Iraqi dinar. If we talk about Samoa, the capital of Samoa is Apia Don Valentine the founder of Sikoye capital has passed away he was from which country right answer is USA so Don Valentine the venture capitalist from America who founded Sikoye capital passed away recently if we talk about USA recently USA was in news as US president Mr Donald Trump appointed Robert O'Brien as national security adviser Our national security adviser is Mr Ajit Dobhal. Veena Nammal, India's oldest yoga teacher has passed away. She was from which state? Right answer is Tamil Nadu. So V Nammal, India's oldest exponent and teacher of yoga has passed away in Tamil Nadu in Coimbatore. Popularly she was known as Yoga Grandma. If we talk about Tamil Nadu, recently Tamil Nadu government honored isro chairman dr k sivan with dr apj abdul kalam award who has been appointed as 47th chief justice of india right answer is justice sarad arvind bobde so justice sarad arvind bobde has been appointed as the 47th chief justice of india he is the successor of mr ranjan gogoi and he will have a tenure of 17 months if we talk about chief justice of india the first chief justice of india was Justice H J Kanya answer in comment box who was the first woman judge of supreme court which indian personality has been honored with youth icon award from london's imperial college right answer is vidya balan so bollywood actress vidya balan has been honored with youth icon award from london's imperial college if we talk about london it is the capital of uk the prime minister of uk is mr boris johnson and uk was also in news as the date of pre exit has been extended the new date is 31st of january 2020 previously it was 31st of october 2019 apart from that uk was also in news as recently south korea signed fta with uk ahead of pre exit fta stands for free trade agreement which state is celebrating the tawang festival right answer is arunachal pradesh So the seventh edition of Tawang Festival has started in Arunachal Pradesh. If we talk about Arunachal Pradesh, recently it was in news as Indian Army conducted first mountain combat exercise Him Vijay in Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh was also in news as Ponung Doming of Arunachal Pradesh became first woman from Arunachal Pradesh to be the colonel in Indian Army. The term adjusted gross revenue is associated to which field right answer is telecom so recently this term 
AGR was in news. AGR stands for Adjusted Gross Revenue and as recently Supreme Court has upheld the definition of AGR calculations as per the Department of Telecommunications. So AGR stands for Adjusted Gross Revenue and it is the spectrum usage charges and licensing fees that telecom operators are charged by Department of Telecommunications. So let's understand the issue. AGR is the fees that telecom operators like Reliance, Vodafone, Airtel have to pay to Department of Telecommunications. And recently, Supreme Court ruled that telecom companies will have to pay approximately 92,000 crore to the government of India, that means to the Department of Telecommunication. And more than half of this 92 crore will be paid by Airtel and Vodafone. So that's why this term was in use. Next question is, which is India's first ever common foundation course for professional civil servants? Right answer is Aramb. So recently, Government of India launched India's first ever common foundation course Aramb for professional civil servants at the Statue of Unity in Gujarat. In addition to that, the government also launched Nurture the Future program. As per this program, civil servants will be divided into teams and they will visit villages. If we talk about Gujarat, recently, former Chief Minister of Gujarat, Mr. Dilip Parekh passed away. Gujarat was also in news as recently Gandhinagar in Gujarat became the first district of Gujarat to be the kerosene-free district. Which state has signed a pact with UNICEF to provide safe drinking water under Drink from Tap Mission? Right answer is Odisha. So Odisha has signed an agreement with UNICEF to provide safe drinking water in the state under Drink from Tap Mission. If we talk about Odisha, recently Odisha was in news as it launched Tikki Mosi Initiative. The objective of this initiative is to spread awareness about nutrition. Odisha collaborated with UNICEF for this initiative. In addition to that, Odisha was also in news because of Air Badha scheme. Odisha was also in news as recently Odisha's first robot restaurant was started in Bhuneshwar. Which Union Ministry has approved issuance of two OGEL for export of certain parts and components? Right answer is Defence Ministry. So recently, Defence Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh approved two OGEL. OGEL stands for Open General Export Licenses. Next question is, recently Paralympics champion Mariki Varuvat ended her life through euthanasia at the age of 40 to end her suffering due to degenerative muscle disease. She was from which country? Right answer is Belgium. So she was from Belgium and recently she ended her life through euthanasia. Now it should be kept in mind that euthanasia is legal in Belgium. The capital of Belgium is Brussels. Recently Belgium was in news as Belgium got its first female Prime Minister. Sophie Willems became the first female Prime Minister of Belgium. She is the successor of Charles Michel. He became the President of European Council. Which professional football club has recently conferred life membership to Nobel laureate Abhijit Banerjee? Right answer is Mohan Bagan. So Mohan Bagan Football Club has conferred life membership to Nobel laureate Abhijit Banerjee. Recently, Abhijit Banerjee, Esther Duflo and Michael Kramer were given Nobel Prize in Economics. If we talk about Mohan Bagan, it is the first Indian club to win Indian Football Association by beating Britishers team. A school located in which city has won the Guinea's world record for becoming the world's largest school in terms of strength of students? Right answer is Lucknow. So Lucknow-based City Montessori School has won the Guinea's world record for becoming the world's largest school in terms of strength of students. If we talk about Lucknow, it is in Uttar Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh is the host of next year Defence Expo. In addition to that, Uttar Pradesh was also in news as recently NCRB released crime data. NCRB stands for National Crime Record Bureau. It is under Ministry of Home Affairs and as per NCRB data, Uttar Pradesh is on top position in terms of crime against women. Which company has recently won Dizidhan Mission Fintech Award 2018-19? Right answer is 
भारत पे सो भारत पे हैज वोन द डिजिधन मिशन फिनटेक अवार्ड फॉर इनोवेशन इन डिजिटल पेमेंट्स थ्रू एमेजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी दीज अवार्ड्स वर प्रेजेंटेड बाई मिस्टर रविशंकर प्रसाद ही इज द प्रेजेंट मिनिस्टर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन मिनिस्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एज वेल एज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ लॉ एंड जस्टिस हिज कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी इज पटना साहिब दीज अवार्ड्स वर प्रेजेंटेड एट स्टार्टअप समिट दिस समिट हेल्ड इन दिल्ली एंड इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी विच इंडियन सिटी हैज गोट द वर्ल्ड गिनीज रिकॉर्ड फॉर लाइटनिंग फोर लाख दी आज राइट आंसर इज अयोध्या सो ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ अक्टूबर इन द सिटी ऑफ अयोध्या फोर लैख अर्थन लैम्प्स वर लिट अलोंग द बैंक्स ऑफ सरयू रिवर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट अयोध्या सेक्शन वन फोर्टी फोर ऑफ सी आर पी सी वॉज इम्पोज इन अयोध्या टू मेंटेन लो एंड ऑर्डर सिचुएशन अयोध्या वॉज ऑल्सो इन न्यूज एज रिसेंटली उत्तर प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइज खोन रामलीला इन अयोध्या इट इज अ स्पेशल स्टाइल ऑफ थाईलैंड एंड दिस इज फर्स्ट टाइम दैट सच इवेंट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इन इंडिया रिसेंटली थाईलैंड वॉज इन न्यूज एज इट बिकेम फर्स्ट कंट्री इन एशिया टू इंट्रोड्यूस प्लेन पैकिंग ऑन सिगरेट्स ओवरऑल ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज फर्स्ट कंट्री इन वर्ल्ड टू इंट्रोड्यूस प्लेन पैकिंग ऑन सिगरेट्स विच टू कंपनीज हैव गोट महारत्ना स्टेटस इन अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी राइट आंसर इज एच पी सी एल एंड पावर ग्रिड कॉरपोरेशन सो रिसेंटली एच पी सी एल एंड पावर ग्रिड कॉरपोरेशन हैज गोट महारत्ना स्टेटस सो एज ऑफ नाउ देर आर टेन महारत्ना कंपनीज फोर्टीन नवरत्ना कंपनीज एंड सेवेंटी थ्री मिनी रत्ना कंपनीज एंड द टू न्यू महारत्ना कंपनीज आर एच पी सी एल एंड पावर ग्रिड कॉरपोरेशन Taro Chatung who passed away recently was the waiter and journalist of which state right answer is Arunachal Pradesh so Taro Chatung the waiter and journalist of Arunachal Pradesh passed away recently in Itanagar he is popularly referred as father of electronic media in Arunachal Pradesh he was the one of first person in state to direct and produce a full length feature film which state police has launched a senior citizen safety initiative savera right answer is uttar pradesh so recently uttar pradesh government launched single emergency number 112 in addition to that state police also launched a senior citizen safety initiative savera if we talk about uttar pradesh recently aisha khan from uttar pradesh became british high commissioner for a day apart from that uttar pradesh was also in news as it is the host of 2020 defense expo Uttar Pradesh was also in news as recently National Police University was approved by Ministry of Home Affairs this university will be situated in Greater Noida in Uttar Pradesh Staral Wildlife Sanctuary which is to be function as a protected wildlife corridor for Hangul is located in which state right answer is Jammu and Kashmir so Staral Wildlife Sanctuary will function as a protected wildlife corridor for endangered Kashmir stag Kashmir stag is also known as hangul now it should be kept in mind from 31st of october jammu and kashmir will cease to exist as a state it will be bifurcated into two union territories one union territory will be jammu and kashmir another one will be ladakh recently grish chandra murmu has been appointed as the lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir and mr r k mathur has been appointed as the lieutenant governor of ladakh the previous governor of jammu and kashmir was Mr Satyapal Malik and recently he was appointed as the governor of Goa Jammu and Kashmir was also in news as recently the legislative council of Jammu and Kashmir was abolished the disabled and people over 80 years of age can cast their vote through postal ballot as per which act right answer is conduct of election rules of 1961 so on the recommendations of election commission of india the union ministry of law and justice has amended conduct of election rules of 1961 and as per new rules disabled and people over 80 years of age can cast their vote through postal ballot before this amendment the voting through postal ballot was allowed only to armed forces and to the people who were assigned poll duties if we talk about election commission of india it is constitutional body it is constituted as per provisions of article 324 of indian constitution apart from that election commission of india was constituted on 25th of january and that's why 25th of january is celebrated as national voters day the present chief election commissioner is mr sunil arora 
which cyclone recently became first super cyclonic storm in Arabian Sea in last 12 years? Right answer is Cyclone Kyar. So super cyclonic storm Cyclone Kyar, after a trail of destruction in Goa, moved away from western coast. So as per IMD, it was an extremely powerful tropical cyclone that became the first super cyclonic storm over the North Indian Ocean since Gonu in 2007. If we talk about IMD, it is India Meteorological Department. It was formed in 1875. It is under Ministry of Earth Sciences. Present Minister is Dr. Harshwadhan. His constituency is Chandni Chok in Delhi. If we talk about IMD, Dr. Mrityunja Mohapatra is the present chief of IMD. Which Buddhist site of Bihar was recently in news for 50th anniversary of establishment of Vishwa Shanti Stupa, that is World Peace Pagoda? Right answer is Rajgir. So, the site was in news as recently. President of India, Mr. Ramnath Kovind gave a speech here on the 50th anniversary of establishment of Vishwa Shanti Stupa, that is World Peace Pagoda at Rajgir in Bihar. Which actor had joined hands with UNICEF and Ministry of Women and Child Development to raise awareness and speak against sexual abuse of children? Right answer is Ayushman Khurana. So Ayushman Khurana had joined hands with UNICEF and Ministry of Women and Child Development to raise awareness and speak against sexual abuse of children. If we talk about Ministry of Women and Child Development, present minister is Smriti Rani. She is MP from Amethi constituency. Amethi is in Uttar Pradesh. Recently, Smriti Rani was also in news as she inaugurated India's largest charkha made up of plastic waste. The charkha was inaugurated in Noida. She was also in news as she represented India in World Cotton Day event. This event held in Geneva and the first Cotton Day was celebrated on 7th of October. Which state government has launched online platform Smart Port? Right answer is Andhra Pradesh. So in order to streamline the export through ports, Andhra Pradesh government has launched Smart Port. This will speed up the workflow through ports. It is an online platform. Which Indian airline has depicted Ik Onkar on the tail to mark 550th birth anniversary of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji? Right answer is Air India. So to mark the 550th birth anniversary of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Air India has depicted Ik Onkar on one of its Boeing 787 aircraft. The aircraft will fly from Amritsar to London. Ik Onkar means God is one. If we talk about Air India, presently Ashwani Lohani is the CMD of Air India. Recently Air India became the first airline in world to use taxi boat. Apart from that, Air India became the first airline of India to fly over North Pole. Which space agency has decided to send a new Viper lunar rover to map water ice on the moon? Right answer is NASA. So NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration and recently to explore the surface of moon, NASA has decided to launch Viper. Viper stands for Volatile Investigating Polar Exploration Rover. It will map the water ice on the surface of moon. The Viper will land in September 2022 in the search of water on the moon. Which tech giant has developed a new 54 qubit processor CKMO? Right answer is Google. So Google has officially claimed that its researchers achieved a breakthrough in the field of quantum supermassy. Quantum supermassy is a point where quantum computers can perform any task that cannot be performed by classical computers. So recently, Google claimed to have developed a 54-qubit processor, CKMO. Google was also in news because of Project Soli. Answer in comment box, what is the objective of Project Soli? Which country has decided to hold world's second largest Muslim congregation, Vishwa Ijtema? Right answer is Bangladesh. So Bangladesh will host the second largest gathering of Muslim community after Hajj. This Vishu Izdema means gathering of Muslim community from all over the world. If we talk about Bangladesh, 
recently the first indo bangladesh stakeholder summit held in guwahati guwahati is in assam and recently assam was in news because of national register of citizens the final draft of nrc was published on 31st of august and nrc coordinator was pratik hajela who is the head of irdai committee to evaluate application under regulatory sandbox right answer is s sadagaopan so irdai has constituted a committee to evaluate applications filed under regulatory sandbox to promote innovation in the insurance sector and the committee is headed by s sadagaopan irdai stands for insurance regulatory and development authority it is a statutory body headquarter is in hyderabad and mr subhash chandra is the chief of irdai recently irdai was in news as bsc and ebix joint venture got approval from irdai for distribution of insurance products which team has been crowned 2019 vijay hazare trophy champions right answer is karnataka so karnataka has been crowned the 2019 vijay hazare champions karnataka defeated tamil nadu and karnataka was declared winner via vjd method now your homework is to find out what is vjd method if we talk about karnataka recently india innovation index was in news it was published by niti aayog and as per this index karnataka is on top position karnataka was also in news as it is the top performer as per saral index saral stands for state rooftop solar attractiveness index karnataka is celebrating 2019 as year of water which iit has created applications for artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning to solve engineering problems right answer is iit madras so iit madras have developed algorithms for artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning and the researchers from iit madras will soon start a startup to deploy their artificial intelligence software ai soft now if we talk about artificial intelligence the world's first graduate level artificial intelligence university will be in uae apart from that telangana is celebrating 2020 as year of artificial intelligence in addition to that recently government constituted a committee to resolve the conflict between niti aayog and ministry of electronics and information technology over artificial intelligence and this committee will be headed by k vijay raghavan so these were the most important questions of today's quiz if you appreciate our efforts please share it thank you